Hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB. In my last video, I did semantic, semantic segmentation uh, and we came across this idea of ground truth and we ran through it without explaining it very well. So in this one, I'd just like to explain what ground truth is. And just to say there that I took this example from MATWORKS there, vision help slash ref slash ground truth. And they did four examples. And I'm only going to look at one and three in this tutorial just to explain to the newbie what's going on. Some other things there, uh, those two there, those two URLs, if you want to look it up, oh, there are official MatWorks uh, videos on uh, ground truth, so they may also help. So again there, I just took that from Wikipedia and what is ground truth? So we want the ground truth to be the gold standard. So you're labeling pixels or you're labeling areas uh, what you know to be sure to be a certain reputation, whether it's the, the a wing mirror of a car, whether it's a stop sign, whether it's a person or a background or whatever. So first one up, example one, we have a range of images and these are available in uh, MATLAB. So there's a dot mat file there and there are stop signs and cars. We read that in and it's a struct. And we just read in the first two files there. And the first two files are image 001 and image 002. And I decided I'd show that. I mean, they left that out and there's that image there. So there's a stop sign, which is just to the left of the hedge. And there's the rear car, rear of a car there, which looks like a VW Passat or a VW Jetta to me. Not quite too sure which. So there are, when we read that in, there are 41 images in that. Um, just go back there a second. There are 41 images in stop signs and cars dot mat. See a 41 by 4 table. So we're going to get 41 entries for stop signs. We, we, there might not be a stop sign in every image, but we need to create a cell array for the possible 41. So there's just the end of there. So just scrolling up there, there's the end of the 41s. And the first stop sign in a triangle, that's a curly brace 1-1. One, one. So in the first image, the bounding box is at image location 856.318. It goes 39 in the x direction and it goes 41 in the y direction. So that's the bounding box for the first stop sign. For B, there's 41 images, so there's 41 possible areas for the rear of a car. There's the end of the piece. And the rear of the car, remember that Passat or Jetta, whatever it was, B11. And the bounding box is 398, 378, and then it goes 315 in the X direction and 210 in the Y direction. So we want to build the ground route. So we have to say where these are stored. So we say image file name, and we just give the first two there. So the data source is there from the just middle of the screen there. So we have to, there are three bits to creating the ground truth. Next bit of the ground truth, we have to use the label definition creator. And we're looking at it there and we have to define our labels. And there are two possible labels, the stop sign and the car sign. And the commands are given there. In this way that MATLAB did it, we're hardwiring in the stop sign truth and the car sign truth just for the first two. And you could, there are other ways of labeling it, but we just, you're hardwiring it in there. And there's a constructed table of label data. And then just at the bottom of the screen there, you create the ground truth, the data source, the label definitions and the label data. 
So those three together will give you the ground truth and then you're able to use the ground truth later on for seg seg semantic segmentation. Sorry for the stutter there. Now we're going to do a part B, different, the same idea but different. So we tidy up as before and in this one here we're reading in the vision team. This is the MathWorks vision team. So we read in the file and we're just showing you there. Now MATLAB say later on there are only two things here. There's people and there's background but actually there's three because there's the floor as well. We look at that in a second. So label definitions there. LDC is label definition and then we add person and background. We create the LDC. There we are. Then we do the pixel labeling. Now MATLAB have this done for us already. And that's vision team pixel labels.png. So they read that in. And when you read that in, I was messing around with this for a while and I sh showed it there and it was black. And this is not very informative. So what I did in was there are actually, when I examined it, uh, image three contains three possible values, one, two, and three, and a not 255 scale. They look completely back. So it's very hard for the human eye to pick out the differences between one, two, and three. So what I did was I made all the one zero, I made all the twos one two seven, and I made all the threes two fifty five. Then I displayed it there. So that might give you a better idea. So we have the where we had a one, we had a person, where we had a two, we had a one two seven, so that'd be the floor that they're standing on, and where there was a three, that was the background, and we made that two fifty five, which would be white. As before, we can create the label data and then just to round it off, we have everything else. We create the ground truth with the data source, the label definitions and the label data. Okay, so I hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.